So, decided to uh, do a solo run, or ride rather, to Box Hill. It's the first time doing a solo ride. Every time I've gone Box Hill, I've always gone and I've just missed my turning. I've always gone with um, with a group. Oh, six miles in. I'm tired already. Um, I had a few couple of rolling hills and I'm now on Bansted Road which was a hill that kind of caught me off guard we weren't in the right gear um, this route is different man I tell you, Kamut really does throw up some surprises Kamut is not my friend but I don't recall doing this route anyway, let me crack on Believe it or not, I'm actually on the race course itself for Epsom. Epsom Downs race course. This is the actual course that the horses ride on. My thing. Wow. As you can see, it goes all the way around here. That is crazy. I never realized how long these race course routes are. Jeez, them horses must be fit, man, to be travelling so fast. I wonder how many laps they do. not done this route before there were some paths that were familiar when we came up to Epsom um, racing course I remember that part being one of the routes I've done before but I certainly haven't come this way this way doesn't look familiar but it's really nice it's different it gets boring doing the same route all the time to a familiar destination uh, this is nice oh this is tough <sighs> Just stopped along a really nice country lane. Catch my breath. Grab a quick bite to eat, give me a bit of boost of energy. Taking this beautiful scenery. Look at that, I don't know if the camera's doing it justice, but uh, yeah. I think I've got about four miles to go or so. So 
quiet and peaceful. Only the odd one or two cars passing and a few cyclists going back and forth. This is nice. I think this is the best um, box hill route I've done so far. Not done many, I've done several I think and I think this is the best one, the most um, scenic one. Right, so I've made it, well, it's to the bottom of Box Hill. I'm at the bottom of the zigzag road. I didn't realize that the route was gonna take me here. So basically, I've got no choice but to go up the zigzag, the zigzag road. Um, I thought the route was gonna take me at the, the top. So I'd have had a decision to make as to whether to go down and come back up, but I can't cheat now. Got no choice, I gotta do it. So I'll see you at the top. I don't know if you can see, but I'm just over halfway up. I've had to stop and rest. To be quite honest, I didn't think I'd get this far without having to rest. Seeing as it's, um, it's been nearly, well not nearly, it's more than six months that I've been off the bike. Oh. Right, here's for another push. I'm gonna try and get to the top without stopping. Still going. I've always wondered what this funny looking pattern in, pattern is in the road. I must ask Dr. Google. <laughs> Made it. Right, about a coffee and a roll, I'm heading home. We've got just under 18 miles to get back home. Here goes. Now, this is a new feature. I don't know if you can see it. This new climb. It seems like a new update on Wahoo. It's either it's been there all the time and I've not noticed or there's a recent update. But I like that. It gives you an indication of when the climb is coming up, the gradient and how long the ride is and stuff like that. That's good, I like that.
son decided to pop his head out. Where was you this morning when I needed you? Another ride in the bag, nearly 40 miles. I didn't plan on going out this morning, um, but I thought, you know what, um, because I was meant to do a ride to St Albans with um, the cycling club, TWR Cycling Club, there was rain forecast basically for pretty much the whole of the ride, so I said nah. And then when I looked at this today's weather, this morning's one, it looked okay, well dry at least, so I thought let me jump on a bike. Got commute to do a quick route and I assumed that the route was going to take me to the top of the viewpoint which meant um, I had to go down zag, zigzag and up again. But it took me the other, a, a new route, which I'd never done before. And it was a lovely route, really enjoyed it. It was a bit hilly, but I needed training. I needed to prep for um, Ride London. It was just a really nice ride. I really enjoyed it because I've done Box Hill several times before. We'd pretty much done, I think, two routes and just rotate those two. And it was really nice to do this one. And um, which meant that I couldn't cheat, I had to go up up zigzag in order to get to the viewpoint so it was a, a kick up the backside that I needed. I'm glad I went out this morning I could have easily just laid in bed and just chilled but I thought you know what I had to get my backside up and go and do something so I did it and I'm glad I did. So on to the next one I don't know when the next ride is but um, enough of my dulcet tones. Thanks for watching the video I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget please to hit the, uh, the like and subscribe button. Hope a brother out man. Help me get my numbers up. I'm only at 40. Admittedly, I've kind of been off the ball with putting out videos, but no, no, I'm on 72. Sorry, um, 72 subscribers. But help a brother out, man. Help me get my subscriber numbers up, man. So, so I can put out some more content and hopefully inspire someone who's in, you know, same position as me. I'm not a pro cyclist. I'm not a pro videographer. I just literally charting my journey of life on the back. Peace.